To get started with InControl2, open a web browser to https colon slash slash control2.peplink.com. Sign up for an account by clicking here. This involves creating a Peplink ID. Simply enter the required information, check the box that you're not a robot, then click Create. An alert will appear that says a verification email has been sent to you. Open the email when possible. Click the link to confirm email address and a new window will open to confirm your email has been verified. Click back to and control 2 to log in with your new account. Once logged in, you'll need to create an organization. Each organization can have multiple groups and multiple devices within that group. The country and address should fill in automatically based on your IP address. Change these along with the location coordinates if needed. This can always be addressed at a later time. Units will default to Imperial, though you may change this as well. When done, click the Submit button at the bottom right. At this time, you'll be shown recent news about any updates or new additions to InControl2. Scroll down to see more, otherwise just click Close. Next, you'll need to enter a group name. A description of the group can be added if desired. If needed, the address can be set differently here than the main address for the organization. The last thing on this page is the time zone. Set it appropriately and check the box if you want all devices in the group to follow that time zone setting. Click Create Group when done. On the next page, you'll enter the serial number or numbers that you'd like to monitor and access remotely. Tags are optional and can be created later for identifying and isolating devices in the group. Click Next when done. After a moment, you should see a screen like this. This tells us the serial number is valid and can continue to be added. You can also edit the device name here if desired. Click Confirm to continue and you should see a message that the device or devices have been added successfully. Now, if you'd like to remote into the Web Administration page to check or change configuration settings, click Group Overview. At the Group page, select the device you need to access and you'll be taken to the Device Details page. Note that the colored box to the left of the device name should be green to indicate it is online. If this is red or orange, wait until you see it turn green. Click on the Settings tab at the top here, then select Remote Web Admin. A new window should open and after a moment, the Web Admin page will load as you see here. Now you can navigate just as you would when you're connected locally. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this.